Are we all right? So spawning in the upper right hand corner of the map, we have playing as the purple Zerg. We have Dark. And his opponent, the machine himself, can he bring it back in his favor in this game? Three, it is going to be innovation. Yeah, right now I've actually uh I did sign up for the Star Sense. This is pretty cool. Um I would I don't I might want to have to change it again. Uh it's actually <laughs> an Android app. <laughs> it's an Android app. All you have to do is uh, look up Star Sense StarCraft 2 on your phone on the Google Play Store and you can actually vote and you can get earn points throughout time and uh, you just vote on your favorite players and you don't have to put money into it. So it's really cool to do and then sometimes they give away things at the end. So I don't know who's going to win on this one, but I think I need to keep going back and forth. Well, it's perfectly fine for you to go back and forth. That's how good these players are. No, I didn't know. If you see it right now, Innovation's opening up the Rex Reaper. And oh, wow. If you're, if you know, you remember about the patch, right? The KD8 charge is now 14 second cooldown, not 7 seconds. Oh, so my goodness. It's time to see how well can Innovation execute this 3 Rex build order considering the changes that have gone through. Can he, yeah, I mean, can it's like game? the patch just came out today, too. Can No, no, no. The patch came out before today. But so here we it's, go. yeah, all right. So we do have the Reaper coming in, the normal kind of standard opening from Terran. Other than what you had pointed out before, but he is coming in. He is going to see. He doesn't know though if this is his third base or if it is second, or if it's second. But you know, most players like to do this with the natural on this kind of map. So you never know when your opponent really gets the third base. So I'm sure that he pretty much knows this. But oh my gosh, we have the second Reaper already coming in. Oh, and the Reapers are just trailing behind. He's really wants to get even on Dark for the last game. He wants to get the win here. We do have a couple Queens in production on the way. The Speedlings are not done yet, but now they just finished right in the nick of time. Will he be able to get a good surround on these Speedlings or not? <coughs> oh, man. Just two Reapers remain. That was really great defense. Really good scouting that out. Really good plays by uh, Dark. Maybe he knew on this map that this was a possibility, or he yeah. saw it with his Overlord, but that was really great from Dark to have that Speedlings first and foremost, so he was able to defend against that. I think this is precisely why Dark loves getting Speedlings so quickly, is that he knows that's what you need to do in order to properly defend against a 3 Rax Reaper pressure. So I think Dark just read his opponent very well, understood exactly what yeah. he needed to do. But the Reapers are still piling up. He's not giving up on what he's doing. This is so many Reapers right now, guys. It's three Rex Reaper, and he's just not stopping production, and he's going for a third command center behind this, so he's definitely <laughs> going for the economic build order. The three Rex Reaper is not an all-in. He just No, wants to some people through. like to play it that way, but no, Innovation's definitely not playing it that way. <laughs> well, for first off, he didn't even proxy the barracks, you know? No, of course not. It wasn't... It was not cheese. This is... Is just instead of his Hellions, he's coming in with Reapers this time. He's just always so aggressive as a Terran player. And here we go. The Reapers are going to come in. Let's see how much more damage can you, you get done this time. Oh, man. I don't think that there's too many Queens to defend this. There's only three Queens here. We have a lot of Speedlings in production, though, to try to counter this. He looks like uh, Innovation might be trying to go in from different angles, jump up on different cliff sides, trying to just get in here. We do have Dark going for the Ling upgrades as fast as he can to try to be able to counter against this. He sees it. He knows it's here. The Overlord is getting shot right now. He did come in and he did see that this is exactly what's going on. Like, it's still going on. Well, Dark saw the add-ons on the barracks, so now he knows Innovation is preparing for a bio transition. And knowing that, Dark realizes that he doesn't need to build Queens or Links anymore for defensive purposes. He can now comfortably transition into a macro game, uh, get those high number of drones that he loves to get, and try to go for that Ling Bane style that we know Dark loves. And try, yeah. to, try to try to get a repeat of the new Kirk Precinct situation going on where he can overrun Dark, or I'm sorry, not Dark. Yeah, overrun. we're dark and over an innovation. We exactly. do see them taking out some of the rocks over there, like you saw before. It looks like, you know, he's going to be playing very, very macro. He's going to get that gold base that's really smart of dark to do. Or he's just taking down the rocks to have the mobility and to be able to spread his creep through there. I'm not sure if he's going to go for that goal, but I hope that he does. 
he he most like he most definitely will go for the gold. Whether he gets it now or later, though, is totally up to Dark. But bringing down those rocks is a very good choice here. He doesn't want to allow innovation to get a positional advantage by sieging up in that position. So bring down those mm -hmm. rocks, open up the path so that you can grab a fourth. Great move here by Dark. And now we see a macro hatchery coming down here in Dark's main base. So he is definitely getting ready to build up a sick sick army so that he can take on innovation when he decides to first move out because the first set of medevacs is going to come out and once those medevacs are out innovation is going to put his units in those medevacs and go for drop and drop left and right and try to try to try to distract dark from being able to comfortably macro up yeah for sure i, I do want to point out it's amazing creep spread in this game by dark he's going to have a lot a lot of vision on this map but we do see a giant the giant army of hellions still coming in trying to figure something out trying to do some damage here and it looks like we are going to see an attack from innovation gearing up right now at least trying to clean off this creep I like what Innovation's doing right now by bringing the Reapers from the top and the Marines from the bottom. This is forcing Dark to move back and forth, doesn't know what to do exactly. Yeah. And this is before banning speed, so Innovation has a very good timing. Yeah, right this now. is a, it's a, that's a very good point. Okay, but he's got to like pick it. up and fly away. Yeah, he always is doing amazing pickups here. Oh wow, those, those Reapers doing it. Quite a bit of damage there, but that was a pretty funny ball of uh, explosions there with so many reapers. <laughs> well, he definitely, he definitely made those reapers worth their money, you know. Yeah. Got the got even got some more KD8 charges off before they died. And those reapers did their job. Yeah, we do have a drop coming in from Innovation while he's coming in from the other side, trying to distract these links and get them to be pulled off into a different location so he can safely come in with this drop. It is going to be spotted out on the creep though, because just this amazing creep spread, but he's doing a multi-pronged attack now. We have the main base and this, uh, his fourth base actually getting pressurized. Dark, though, doing a great job splitting up his army. He has links on both of them. He knows exactly where these medevacs are, and he is just completely prepared for this kind of attack. One thing I'm going to point out here is that while Innovation does have a group of Marines out on the map right now. He's got one group at the top, one group at the bottom. He has a follow-up preparing back at home. That's exactly what Innovation does. He harasses with two groups of separate medevacs and then follows up with another group of medevacs and then hits from the middle. Yeah, the I mean, I've is... seen I've seen Innovation hit all the bases at this at once. Like, if we see that many uh, that many drops, that's just going to be beautiful, and that's probably what he needs to do before these mutas, you know, get too intense. No fear, that one medevac has 15 health, but he Oh my god, kill. two medevacs going down. Oh, these, these, these mutas, he's going to do exactly what we saw last game. He's going to abuse this mobility. He knows that his opponent is trying to go for that drop pressure constantly. So getting the vision, taking out these medevacs, just chasing them down one by one over and over again. He's definitely taking the advantage here against these drops. The creep spread here for Dark is just going very well for him. He understands exactly what innovation is doing at all times, knows when the medevacs are flying in before they can even reach their destination. So this is going very well for Dark right now. Innovation having a lot of trouble trying to bring down Dark. Dark hasn't really lost any drones this game. He's at 79 workers. Oh, wow. He really just hasn't taken any eco economic damage. So now innovation... No, he's I definitely slowly starting to climb in the supply lead, but innovation is right on his tail, constantly keeping up his supply as well. We do see a drop going in. Actually, Widow Mines, but he, they were spotted, and we do have an Overseer that's going to be able to clean that up as well as the other drop that was ha taking place. Now, innovation also moving out on the map with another army, trying to just do as much damage as it can simultaneously. Widow Mine's actually getting barreled a little bit too late, but they're still able to go off and take out a couple units, but it's... Uh, innovation is just going to start pushing in really hard over and over again. That's what he likes to do, just keep the pressure up. Oh, man, these Banelings are making really great hits, though, and he is pushing Dark back. There's just so much happening in this game. We do yep. still have another drop that just took place in the main base of Dark. Was able to get cleaned up again. Dark is just doing a great job defending. Yeah, I was going to comment on just how amazing the multiple aggression is. But Novea, you beat me to the punch. That just, <laughs> no, that just shows how on top of this game you are. I'm oh, thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> so here we go. Innovation going for another attack. He really needs to trade better here. A dark keeps taking the supply lead, and soon Innovation is just going to he's going to fall too behind to be able to trade efficiently anymore if he, if this keeps going on. Yeah, I agree. I have seen games very similar to this one when I thought Dark was going to win, but then Innovation still was able to pull through and still take wins. So I still don't know which, still don't know who's in the lead here. I feel like they're both so good that they could go any way. This is a good move here from. This is a yeah, taking out the here. rocks here. I think that uh, Zerg is either an unaware or doesn't care, and he's trying to pull off his opponent, possibly take out this expansion here. He's actually capturing a whole bunch of units off guard before they were able to barrel Widow Mines. Taking out this gold base is going to be a really great thing for Dark, but meanwhile, while this is going on, his other base is actually getting taken out, and he's able, he is able to defend against this on his other base, but he will lose that base there. Uh, he's probably going to, he did opt in to take the, the gold base, so he's going to have enough drones to just saturate that immediately because he was able to pull a bunch of workers and Dart really doing a complete number on innovation here. He is in the main, he's in the natural, he's taking out everything. So many SCVs are dying right now. There is just so, too much. And Dart takes the second win today. GG! Wow. This entire, this entire game was just like set up for Dark's success because innovation opening up three backs, but Dark going for that quick speed, like he almost he took almost no economic damage whatsoever. Yeah, like that, he really didn't. Game. Like innovation was trying, he kept trying, but he just kept getting denied over and over and over. I think Dark did a really great job, you know, just scouting out his opponent, just knowing his playstyle, knowing what he was going to do, knowing how to react accordingly to that draw pressure. Yes. Um, yes I do think we are. are going into a quick commercial, though, shortly. Yep. Yes, we will. The score is currently 2 1, guys, in Dark's favor, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more StarCraft action. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.